guys, this is the fifth video of a several part series on common scams that you need to know about before studying anything else about your small business. Remember to watch until the very end of this video for a playlist including all of the common scams that I've encountered on PayPal, Etsy, Amazon, and my own website. This scam thankfully doesn't happen to me very often, but if you sell high value items such as jewelry, this may be more common for your business. In this scam, the buyer will mail back an empty package or simply does not mail back a return at all and claims that it is your responsibility to refund them anyways. I always require all buyers to ship back items with tracked services and I notify the customer during the return process that I am not liable for items lost in the mail that was sent with their shipping services. This policy prevents the buyer from rerouting the package or not sending the item back at all. You can simply request the tracking to prove that the package was or was not delivered to your return address. This policy does not, however, prevent buyers from sending back a completely empty package. If you sell high value items, I suggest implementing a policy of video recording all items being packed and unpacked. This would be appropriate for jewelers selling perhaps $1,000 rings, for example. Simply set up a camera above your packing station and keep all recordings for perhaps 60 days or more. For most businesses, this recording process is too cumbersome. However, you can determine if a customer is lying about packing the item by checking weights of the package through the shipping service. You can simply tell the customer that you are having FedEx or whoever check the shipping weights and generally the item will miraculously show up. The buyer will say, oops, I found it after you told them this. Or if you actually do need to check the weights, you can contact the delivery company directly, ask for weights for when the item was shipped and compare that weight to when you take the packaging that it... If you actually do need to check the weights, you can contact your delivery company and ask them for the packing weight for when it was shipped versus the weight that you take of the packaging that arrived to your studio. You can determine if there was ever an item in that package by subtracting the two weights. In most cases, by using weights, you'll be able to determine if there was ever an item in that package. And then you can proceed from there. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If you want to see more scams, check out this playlist. And if you like it, please subscribe. Bye.